Rana Vazain and I are here with a gem of wisdom from Archangel Michael. Hello, everyone. And um, this message comes from the June, or is it the, uh, let me see here. Yes, June. <laughs> the June 2021 message. Okay. Everyone on earth is in the process of clearing ancient memories and thought forms of the past. Be a passive observer when these feelings roll up within. Do not claim them, just observe and state to yourself, this is anger I am experiencing, or fear, depression, guilt, or any other disempowering emotion. Envision a blazing ball of light descending from your higher self and bursting into a million tiny crystalline diamonds and rippling throughout your body, transforming and balancing all discordant energies within. This Do this as often as necessary. Uh, for some years now, it's been very popular talking <clears throat> about past lives. Reincarnation is gaining more validity and... Uh, uh, and I've often said in the past, for those who cannot, who really cannot understand or accept reincarnation, you know, God is a God of love. And I think it would be a great cosmic joke and not very nice if some people, if we only had the one life. Look at the lives that some people come into cripple and in and, 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 and the third world countries and they're, they don't have enough to eat and they're like, they have no opportunity. And so, so we, that is something we're kind of accepting now. And so then we've gotten into all of our past lives and, uh, what it, and, and so some people say, well, what good does that do? Well, it helps us to understand and to know that we are in a school and we're not being judged or punished, but what we, what, what Michael has given us now in this latest now, which is a part that has been very confusing for me because Randy and I, we do a lot of discussing. We do, we, he asks questions, I ask questions, I challenge him, he challenges me, and it brings us, it opens up many topics and we end up getting higher, higher understanding. And so Michael has said, you're not on a linear path. You know, time is not linear. It's all, all the time is now. Okay, how, how can that be? Because it's events that we remember that make the time from the past and so on. And so he said, you're not on this linear path. You're on a spiral and you're going back to the past, healing the past as you go forward on the spiral to the future. And from what I've read and what I understand, how can you change and, and you, you came into the lineage, the ancestral lineage, that was the best suited for your lessons and also for you to help heal. And how can we do that without changing the past of everybody? Well, now we're understanding about the holographic universe and that each one of us live in a personal hologram <clears throat> and a family hologram. And with our DNA, we have holograms of our important, like they say, we, this, even the Bible, it says you go back, seven past generations affect you. The sins or the blessings of seven past sin generations. So those are holograms of memories, of actions, of energy, positive, negative, or neutral, that we can move into. And when you go back into a past life, you go into that hologram. And it's exciting. And we have learned an awful lot about ourselves. I've come to great understanding about myself and some of the things like, why, why wasn't I in, a, in an auto accident and break, broke my hip? I was in a cast for five months when I was five years old. I learned the reason why. And so these past life memories that we get, we heal those holograms. And as it's, as we, like I say, as we heal, we are healing the energy and the vibration. We're healing our family hologram. And then the families we move into, our friends, our workplace, our city, our country, the world. We are healing every little thing that we heal. We're healing all of that. And see, as you heal yourself, of course, you are able to download more and more of your higher self. So you get more of the positive. You are being filled with positive. The blessings 
your divine blueprint that was gifted to you, especially for you, so that you can become the very best person that you can be. The talents, the opportunities, the gifts, the memories, the strength, the wisdom, all of that, you have to make room for it. You have, that's what the violet flame is. Why is the violet flame so important? It transmutes and it changes that energy back to neutral so it can be reprogrammed with the higher frequencies. Isn't that magical? And so make no mistake, every step, everything, every little thing that you like within your family. With all of this that's going on, is your family life more chaotic? Are you adding to the negativity? Or you, have you taken that opportunity to be, know your family more and to understand your family better and to maybe find some new things instead of... People now are excited about getting out and doing a lot of the things they took for granted before. So sometimes things are taken away because we don't appreciate them or because we have a different... We we're so accustomed to things. We don't do know it's just the norm. And so see your lesson. Every lesson is either a gift or a blessing. It's an opportunity to let go of something that doesn't work so you can fill yourself with more things that do work. And so, yes, everything is tough now. The energies that are coming in. Randy and I, just lately, we felt like we're in a fog. We know that we're downloading and, and different, different things that we're experiencing. And I'll say, oh yeah, I remember when I did that and so on. So it's wonderful to have that input so that we, we know and we understand. And that's why we try and share things with you to help you understand. No, you're not different. The ascension symptoms and everything, they're all a part of it. And so as we learn and grow, so do the people around us. And it's the same with you. Everyone's a teacher by example. He says, first, you must teach by example and then by words. And so you have a grand opportunity before you. Change yourself, change the world around you, and your strength and your blessings will go and expand beyond anything you can imagine. I promise you, because that's what's happened to us. Again, I say, join us. It's a wonderful ride. You don't want to miss it. Thank you, Rana. Yeah, one of the things it says in here is to be a passive observer. And that's very important, especially when emotions come to, into play, when we feel anger or fear or we're worrying about something. It's important to observe what's going on, not judge it, just observe it and uh, kind of surrender to it. And you'll find that just doing that, just observing it and kind of moving into the energy and being aware of it, a lot of it will dissipate just by doing that alone. That's all for now. We'll see you next time. We're looking forward to a beautiful summer with lots of miracles. Claim yours, okay? We're there for you and we love you. Bye, Bye for now. <laughs>